Hi, this is Nick in 3WG, and in this video I'm going to be giving a demo of a new feature of Hamlog with the pigtail called Pigtail Tracker. So here on the table I have an 817. It's on the uh, North American APRS frequency and set to packet. And that's connected to a Bionics Tiny Track 4. Uh, no modem adapter here, and that's connected into this pigtail here. So I just turned on the pigtail, and over here on, on the iPad, I'm going to connect to the pigtail. And then open up Hamlog. And we're going to go to Tools, and there's a new tool in there called Pigtail Tracker. Let's open that up. Up top there's some information about what this does. Uh, basically what it does is it um, receives APRS messages, parses them, and puts them on a map for you. So let's select a pigtail. We'll turn up the radio. So if we wait a second, we'll start getting icons showing on the map here. Let's zoom in. So most of the location-based APRS messages are in here. Right now I don't have um, messaging. Um, I can theoretically transmit as well uh, by sending text to the pigtail and then over to the, the tiny track. So we have some messages up here. We have a sailboat over in the Pacific. Man, a gentleman in a truck in 60HV. It's off-duty. So this does park parse uh, Mike E messages. There's a Jeep up here, K6ROC. Um, the other thing that's not in here is overlay symbols. So you see this one right here. This is most likely an overlay symbol. Uh, the text is not on the image that should be there. And that's simply because I can't draw on top of that image. Uh, up top it tells you it shows you the actual messages that are coming in and it'll tell you if a message isn't parsed uh, but it stays up there and also down at the bottom we can hit this button show hide log sorry I ran out of space on my card here uh, so when I hit the show hide log button what that'll do is it'll just increase the map size get rid of the log for you it is still logging that data as they come in but you can get the full screen map view uh, the other thing that's not parsed right now are weather reports, but the text uh, does show up up top. It's just not broken out as for what the, uh, the actual gauges of their weather reports say. So it'll just sit here um, pulling in APRS messages and sticking them on the map for you. There's also a setting. Uh, if we come back here and go to settings, we can turn on and off the ability to, or the uh, the feature to remove um, icons as they come in. So um, imagine I'm traveling, and I have my APRS set to beacon every five minutes or so. Um, with remove previous, it will remove the previous message that I sent, and then add a new one. Um, if I turn this off, then it'll uh, it'll track across the screen. It doesn't draw lines, but it. Um, uh, for example, I had this running one day with uh, with the Tiny Track 4, and uh, there was an airplane flying from Fresno to Stockton, and the airplane icons followed the highway up here. Ran out of space again. Uh, so uh, this is Pigtail Tracker. Um, it connects to um, basically any TNC that will output a serial stream of APRS messages. Um, again, in this case, I'm using the Bionics Tiny Track 4. And uh, one caveat to note, keep this in mind, the pigtail ships with a baud rate of 4800. And the Bionics, if you're going to use this Tiny Track 4, it ships with a baud rate of 19200. Uh, so you're going to need to either change the pigtail or the Tiny Track to make them talk. So keep that in mind. Uh, this will be in the next version of Hamlog, which should be out in about a week and a half or two weeks. And uh, just to show you one other thing I've added. I got in touch with the Amateur Radio Newsline folks and got permission to um, to include their podcasts in here uh, so you can 
you can download and listen Amateur radio news line report number to the podcast. With a re- All right, so that's Pigtail Tracker, Amateur Radio Newsline. If you have any questions, feel free to get in touch with me. And let me know what you think. Thanks.